The constant improvement of technology can be seen in every area of daily life. Automotive manufacturing stands out as one of the industry most driven by new technologies. Electronic components are among the parts where new requirements appear faster and require more rapid solutions. I'm Ekaterina Garbunova and I'm responsible for product development and field of elastomers in Oxel leading graphene nanotube manufacturer. Today I'd like to talk about the changes what graphene nanotubes will bring to automotive electronic parts and components made of conductive elastomers. Tubal graphene nanotubes give a wide range of opportunities to develop the new generation of electronic components in automotive industry. They offer a wide range of electrical conductivity, highly conductive applications with a volume resistivity value below 10 ohms per centimeter, stable surface resistivity and antistatic performance below 10 to the power 7 ohms, and double mechanical properties compared to existing solutions. And all of these properties could be achieved without any negative effect to elastic behavior and no carbon release to the surface. Electrical conductivity becomes one of the main property when we refer to electronic components. In elastomers in particular, conductive fillers can lead the number of negative trade-offs in flexibility and elasticity, which will result in the hardening and reduced cycle life of the final parts. As you can see in the pictures, graphene nanotubes can bring significant improvements in mechanical and conductive properties in elastomers, even in the extremely low dosages, providing the technological breakthrough which is cost-effective. Let's take a look at some of the projects where graphene nanotubes are successfully developed to the industry. As a specific example, an European manufacturer adopted tubal graphene nanotubes in RTV silicon antistatic parts used in the vehicle construction. The essential requirement of the silicon was to provide an antistatic performance with maintaining low hardness. RTV is one of the material where flexibility, softness and tensile strengths are balanced. No other conductive additive is not able to guarantee the consistent conductivity, but additionally would lead the significant increase in viscosity and hardness, which is unacceptable for automotive industry. Let's take a look at our next case. This is the silicon antistatic coating with tubal nanotubes that used for assembling cases tunnel surface coating and other electronic compartments in cars. The essential requirements were stable ESD properties and anti-dust effect. The goal was achieved with the surface resistivity from 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 8 ohms per square. Such elastomer coatings can be made of colored silicon, latex and the liquid coating on a textile or other surfaces and provide a stable performance starting from 0.05% of tubal graphene nanotubes. The area where new technologies can bring the highest value and meet the new requirements is the highly conductive and highly flexible silicon parts. There are a lot of non-visible conductive connections in electronic sensors and electrons. These parts are normally made of highly conductive silicon elastomers to provide a good contact, good flexibility, heat resistance and the ability to work in the wide range of temperatures. Usually the conductive elastomers contain a high amount of carbon or metallic fillers. Let's take a look at how silicon, filled with about 70% of silver-coated copper, looks under scanning electronic microscopy. Due to the extremely high content of conductive filler, the elastomer loses elasticity, becomes more rigid and loses strength, which leads to the shortening of the shelf life and the final parts and its processing. The same trend can be observed in materials where carbon black is used as a conductive filler. But materials where tubal is used as a conductive filler demonstrate three times more elasticity than traditional alternatives at the same resistivity range. We have tried to overcome these drawbacks and here is a one of the first cases in development, email shielding conductive silicon elastomers. To 70% of metallic filler could be replaced with only 0.5% of tubal graphene nanotubes. Due to this substitution, it's possible to obtain an easier processing, but what is more important is three to six times higher mechanical properties, no impact to elasticity, longer cycle and surface life, and stable electric resistivity even after high deformations. The next future trend is transparent conductive films which used in the touchscreen operations and with pressure sensitive adhesive films. This is one of the areas where carbon nanotubes could provide an excellent performance. 
there is a new requirement for the higher conductivity for all new screens to provide the stable performance over their service life. This can be easily achieved with tubal graphene nanotubes based concentrates. Antistatic polymers in current use can only achieve 10 to the power 10. At the same time, this benefit should go together with more stable and uniform antistatic performance of PSA film without any drawbacks in technology and also longer cycle life. This effect can be achieved through the properly linked nanotube network, which is possible to achieve with a distribution through the PSA resin at the stage of the production of the films. Electronics have become an important part of our daily life. New cars are equipped with new devices, including flexible displays, start panels and e-heating elements, and not so far as we might think. Graphene nanotubes allow us to meet the new requirements of advanced cars with more elastic, more durable conductive materials used in electronics assembly. Subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for the continuation of the new cars, new materials series.